We are honored to be joined now by Mike Kane, an award-winning journalist who has covered this industry, thoroughbred racing, for four decades. Yep. Nice to see you. I want to. I'm struck by how you describe yourself on Twitter. You say you're an image maker of thoroughbred racing. What does that mean? Well, to I'm you? a photographer, so I make images. Ah, uh, that's how I got into the newspaper I, business a okay. million years ago. Okay, I'm a photographer who became a writer. Oftentimes, you get uh, writers who become photographers. That's I right. did it backwards. But what is the image of thoroughbred racing to you? Because it obviously, as a writer, uh, that is something you try to translate all yes. the time, for sure. It, it's breathtaking, uh, yeah. interesting uh, sport. That's, the, that's what I enjoy the most about any kind of sport, is the drama that's involved. Mm. We go to the plays, we go to movies, we kind of know what's going to happen. We come over here to, the, to this place, we don't know what's going to happen. And we've seen many crazy things unfold. Uh, on, on the sporting fields of America. And one thing we haven't seen since 2018 is the Kentucky Derby winner come to Baltimore and carry Triple Crown hopes yeah. to the Thelma, Justify the last to do it. I find it interesting in the storyline that this year Justify's grandson, Just Steele, could spoil those hopes. And that, wouldn't that be something? And, but that's, that's the way thoroughbred racing goes. The great horses uh, <laughs> bring on other great horses. Now, so far, Just Steel hasn't measured up to the, anywhere near the caliber of, uh, of Justify, but he, you know he definitely has the bloodlines to turn in a big performance in a race like this. Mystic Dan, of course, the winner yep. two weeks ago in Louisville, Kentucky at Churchill Downs, has run on an off track, has won on mud. Do you see anybody in this field that could, all things being equal, stop Mystic Dan? Now, I'm talking no flukes, no, no, no strange things happening. Straight race, no bumping. Can anybody beat Mystic yeah, Dan? Yeah, sure. Catching Freedom can beat uh, Mystic Dan. Uh, Uncle Heavy, the Pennsylvania bred, he might be able to beat him. He's going to love being on this track. Uh, he's, he's really excelled on wet tracks. So he's, he's another one. Just Steel, I, I'm with you on. Uh, it's, it's a possibility. He does have the breeding to do that. Uh, Tuscan Gold is going to get a lot of attention. Chad Brown has won this race two times in the last, what, five years with horses just making their fourth start. Right. So Chad Brown is a great trainer, and don't be surprised if he gets his horse here first. You've spent a lot of time over the years covering this industry. Mm -hmm. What has been the most exciting vantage point for you and one of the most exciting storylines to cover? Oh, American Pharaoh winning the Triple Crown. I was with my belly on the rail at the finish line at Belmont Park and it was amazing. I've mm. been to a lot of sporting events in my life, but the, the sound oh, and the, wow. the, the noise just kept growing and growing as the horse came down the stretch. Amazing. Mm, fantastic. Yeah. Well, we'll see if we get some of that noise today here in the second leg of the Triple Crown. We appreciate the visit. You're welcome. Appreciate the insights as well, and we'll be interested to see where the storyline goes from today. Thank you, Mike Kane. Okay. Thank you.